stupid ass computer. Why do you do it? Why do you do it? They ask me. I say it's not because I love women. It's because I wish I could simply be the women that I draw. I say since the beginning of time I have noticed what beauty was, who beauty is, and what exactly does it look like. Could I reproduce it on a piece of paper? I don't know, but I try. <laughs> I say to myself, what is the definition? Science has definition for everything. So what do I do? I look it up. And what does it say? It says beauty is simply symmetry and a human. And I just try to do that every single time. I keep on trying and I get closer and closer to your perfection. <laughs> and maybe one day I will be one or all or simply beautiful in another life. <laughs> maybe after my microdermabrasion and my nose job. <laughs> well, maybe when I die, I requested specifically to know what it's like to be a a hot star. <laughs> I most likely am not going to be that in this life. Simply circumstance. I didn't get to indulge the way I would have liked to. The purpose of this life was completely different than what I thought it was. <laughs> there's the heart and the soul. Just like in movies, there's the heart lesson, the soul lesson. And in life, there's the heart and the soul urges. And you can only go at one. It's very rare that both of them meet. So I keep on looking. And you know what? I'm struggling. And more and more I know that I've got to go with my, uh, my soul. My soul tells me. My soul, it tells me we've got to be supportive to my, to my family. So... Uh, <coughs> Uh, right now I'm going to take a shower and I will tell you the process it's pretty simple my computer is frozen and I'm not going to get mad like I usually do I'm simply going to take a deep breath and close all the windows because before you know it it's going to be too cold in here I'm going to be naked <laughs> naked and um the cold air is not good for a wet, naked body with no man, by the way. I have no man coming over. I have no lover, okay? You know, I've been searching high and low. I'm actually looking for a certain situation. But you know what? It never happens. So I don't want to rush into something, you know? I don't want to be a little slut and say, Look, this is the situation I was looking for. And I get into it and what happens? So, what do I say? I say, Jennifer, you must be patient. You must be patient. And I don't know if you've noticed, but my accent keeps going back from Spanish to French to Italian. Birdie! She doesn't like it when I touch her. So now, okay, okay, I'm in the dark. Hold on. Ugh, get very scared in the dark. Now I'm in the bathroom, as you can hear my voice echoing. I'm going to start a very hot tub. Unfortunately, you cannot join me. <laughs> <coughs> you know, what really sucks is I just painted my nails. I just painted both my toenails and my my nails. And you know what? Uh, it looks terrible now. I've got to wash it off. <laughs> but I want to be nice and clean for you because... You're going to watch me do a painting, and um, I think you're going to like what you see. As a matter of fact, I'm going to do the entire voiceover in this voice, so hopefully I don't forget the way I sound right now. You would never guess. So many people think I sound like a mouse. <laughs> you know, fuck those motherfuckers. <laughs> Excuse me. <I'm coughs> Sometimes I want to sound like a black girl. <laughs> 
but I am not a black girl. <laughs> you know, now I'm starting to sound like that woman. I'm trying to sound like Edith Piaf, my favorite. She's someone I've totally fallen in love with after watching the movie. Stop it, Jennifer. I'm starting to sound Mexican. Okay, stop it. Okay, I can't. I have a hard time keeping up with one accent. You forgive me. It's so much fun. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and take off our clothes. We're going to get naked. And uh, wish me luck and hope I don't miss any parts in between the crevices. <laughs> and it's not only because I got a illness. I can do this voice anytime I want. But you know, but I won't do it for you. You know why? Because you're not paying me for shit. I'm not going to do it for free. And you know, I'm alone and I had to get pumped up for this accent right here. I do get pumped up. I'm a creative mode. I said, Mom, leave me. I want to be alone. I have art project to work on. She said, okay, I know how you like to be alone. So I said, okay. So, you know, I get on the internet and what do I do? I start making some videos and chopping some stuff up so all of you can watch me. But you know what? <laughs> there's nothing on there and there's nothing been on there since the, the beginning of time. You know, I'm like I'm trying to make a funny video so everyone can see what I'm like, you know. And I've done like ten of them and I try to chop them up and sing it down to something really good. And, you know, it's nothing good. Okay, wait, now I'm losing, I'm losing the excitement. I'm just gonna get in the bathtub. Okay, calm down, bitch. Calm down. Ugh. I'm tired of these motherfuckers. Always trying to fuck with some bitch. Always trying to brag that they rich or some shit like that. But this bitch ain't go for no shit like that. <coughs> and so what? Uh, Ever happen to like guys that dress nice? And guys who got a little bit of kindness inside of them is all that matters to me. Someone with goals, someone who don't live for no hoes, someone who knows exactly what they want. Exactly what they need, you ain't telling me, hell no. Let me tell you something. This bitch doesn't like to be alone. But I always need me some lonely time. And it's real nice to have a guy who understands that shit. And I mean a little bit. One time, I was in love with this motherfucker, and he's too far away to get my little hands on. He's out there, surrounded by a bunch of little cutie girls, and I won't be surprised if he had a big old foursome. <clears throat> but all that matters is he say he want to marry me, because God knows I'm doing the same thing. <clears throat> but as a matter of fact, I've been trying for a while And I can't get anyone who's anything close to my style So let's start over again And it ain't even gonna be in this town, my friend And you know I'm just making this shit up as I go But now that I point it out, it's gonna go down low so I'm gonna say the night, bitches, before I mess up my flow. Excuse me, my, my thing fell off for a second, which pisses me off. Because now I gotta start all over again. Okay, so, I said, Jennifer, if we know, we can cure this using cognitive therapy. We can be a social acrobat, if that makes any sense. I said, we can do this, okay? We can be a social hit. We can actually, me, shy little Jennifer, can be the life of the party. I said, Jennifer, let's use what we know and do this right here, is what I said to myself. So, what did I say? We started working on our inner sides, and it took years for me to realize what the ultimate 
overnight solution is to shyness and um and social anxiety now there's a couple of things that a person should know before even trying the solution maybe some guidance I mean, maybe a couple of weeks or maybe a month. I don't know. A short period of time of some guidance on some things that I had to learn before being open up, uh, being open, uh, uh, wide open to the solution. Uh, the solution was, okay, the solution was.